नमस्कार माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर त्रिशान ओबनिक आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ आई एम डी फॉर सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर yesterday imd has predicted extremely heavy rainfall for the telangana as well as for the marathwara and during the past 24 hour these two region received extremely heavy rainfall activity as you can see both the region has been marked by the red color and also one station over the uttarakhand also received extremely heavy rainfall around uh, 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 yeah around 210 mm of rainfall during the past 24 hour apart from that the region west madhya pradesh East Rajasthan also received very heavy rainfall activity during the past 24 hour. For detail, you can see here all the name of the stations and the district name has been listed you here. You can pause the video and check the detail. Now moving further and talking about the highlights, as you all know that there is a depression over the eastern part of the Vidarbha and under the influence of this system, it is likely that extremely heavy rainfall may occur over the Madhya, Maharashtra, Gujarat region and heavy to very heavy falls is likely over the Mardhavara, Konkan and Goa, North Interior Karnataka, Vidarbha, West Madhya Pradesh, Shorast, Kutch during the next two days. Now talking about the synoptic system, the remnant of the cyclone Ashna is presently lying as a depression over the northwest Arabian Sea and it is likely to move south westward uh, during the next six hours and further weakens into a well marked low pressure area. And also the second system uh, lie over the east Vidarva as a depression and it is very likely during the next few hours it will move further toward the northwest directions across the Vidarva and further weakens into a well marked low pressure area during the subsequent 12 hours. There is a shear zone exist at the northern part of the peninsular India around uh, 20 degree north and also at the mid tropospheric level and also there is the offshore trough start from the Gujarat coast up to the north of Kerala. And monsoon drops today starts from the Jaisalmer and pass through this depression over the east Vidarva and continues towards the south, southeast direction up to the east central Bay of Bengal. And also one cyclonic circulation is there in between 1.5 and 3.1 uh, over the central Pakistan and its neighboring west Rajasthan area. One WD is also there over the western part of the Pakistan at the mid tropospheric level. So that's all for today's synoptic systems. Now if we move further and see the weather warning for the next 7 days. As you can see we have given red warning for the extremely heavy rainfall activity for Madhya Maharashtra as well as for the Gujarat region for today. And we have issued red warning for very heavy rainfall activity for the Marathwara region for today. And also the adjoining state like the region Vidarbha as well as the north interior Karnataka, then coastal Karnataka, western part of the uh, Madhya Pradesh and Uttarakhand we have issued orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity and if you see the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity we have issued yellow warning for north Indian states as you can see here Himalayan state Jambu Kashmir, Uttarakhand, uh, Himachal Pradesh and also for the Punjab, Haryana, east of the Rajasthan, Gujarat the uh, Shorast Kutch, then uh, east of uh, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, and the South Peninsular India, Kerala, coastal Karnataka, uh, uh, Andaman and Nicobar Island, as, and also for the all Northeast Indian states. We have issued heavy rainfall related yellow warning for today. That is for 2nd of September. Now if we move further and see the weather warning for the 3 and 4th of September, you can see the red warning is still continued for 3rd September as well for the Gujarat region and the adjoining region like west of the Madhya Pradesh and Shorast Kutch we have issued orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity. Apart from that, the northeastern India and the west Indian state as well as Madhya Maharashtra, Bidarva and south peninsular Indian state like uh, Kerala and uh, uh, coastal Karnataka, we have issued yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity. We have issued heavy rainfall activity related yellow warning also for the northeast Indian state and also for the Andaman and Nicobar Island for the 3rd of September. Now moving further to talking about the 4th of September 
number as you can see here we have issued orange warning uh, orange warning for the entire gujarat state for the very heavy rainfall activity and the surrounding neighboring state like the rajasthan western part of the madhya pradesh then some parts of the madhya maharashtra like madhya maharashtra region and vidarbha region of maharashtra state we have issued yellow warning for the heavy rainfall and also kerala and uh, andaman and nicobar island the uh, western part of the uttar pradesh then himalayan state uttarakhand bihar and north in east northeast indian state including south himalayan west bengal and sikkim we have issued yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity for 4th of september now if we talk about the rainfall warning starting from the 5th up to the 8th of september as you can see the uh, orange alert or the red alert has been reduced and we have only issued the yellow warning for from 5 up to the 8th of september for different parts of the india if we talking about the 5th of september and the western part of the india <clears throat> including um, the madhya maharashtra and konkan goa we have issued yellow warning yellow warning for the issued for the uttarakhand and also for the state odisha and uh, south himalayan west bengal sikkim and arunachal pradesh including the island andaman and nicobar for very heavy uh, 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 heavy rainfall related yellow warning issued for 5th of september and you can see 6 september also similar kind of yellow warning has been issued for the west india as well as east indian state odisha Chhattisgarh and also in the Indo-Gangetic plain we have issued uh, yellow warning over the eastern part of the Uttar Pradesh for 6th of September and also for 7th and 8th September you can see we have continued the yellow warning for the state Rajasthan Uttarakhand for 7th September as well and also for the Madhya Maharashtra Konkan Goa and for Chhattisgarh also and on 8th of September you can see the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall is continue for the for the Rajasthan state including the Madhya Maharashtra Konkan Goa Chhattisgarh and the Himalayan state Uttarakhand Now moving further and talking about the fisherman warning as you all know that the remnant of the cyclone Ashna is already passed away from the Indian coast and we have issued uh, specifically squall wind speed warning over the north west or the west central arabian sea for next 5 days around the squall wind speed around 35 45 gusting to 55 and the yellow colored region basically representing the squall wind speed 45 55 gusting to 65 kmph and if you talk about the uh, east coast and the south peninsular india we have issued squall wind speed of 35 45 gusting to 55 kmph for next uh, few days as you can see over the west coast we have issued this wind speed warning for the next two days and if you see the east coast of the india we have issued similar warning for next 5 days we have further increased the warning level uh, from 5th september onward uh, and we have issued the squall wind speed around 45 55 gusting to 65 over the west central bay of bengal for 5th of september as well as for the 6th of september this is happening as we already mentioned there is a possibility of formation of a low pressure area over the west central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal and the influence of this system there may be the increase quality wind speed condition will be prevail over the west central and adjoining bay of bengal region so fishermen are advised not to venture over those area during this period that's all for today please visit our mausam.imd.gov.in website for the different uh, weather related information and also please follow us in twitter facebook instagram and youtube Thank you very much for watching us.